Good morning, Calvary. Great to have you here this morning. My name is Robert and I have your word for the day today. You know, growing up, I did a good amount of camping and my favorite part of camping was always the fires. I loved gathering around the campfire at the end of the day and, and sharing that time together. I loved cooking food over the fire and coming up with creative ways to, 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 to make our meal using the fire. I also loved making the fire. And if I'm honest, that was probably my favorite part. And as I did this more and more, I loved building the challenge and becoming better at doing that. I loved going from using you know, lighter fluid and a lighter to using just a single match and then using uh, you know, flint and steel to build that and then using just a, a stick and some, some kindling to build it. I also loved learning about the different ways that you can structure the wood and the different types of wood that you do. But you know, there's a lot of universal things about fire. And it doesn't matter if it's built in your backyard or at a campsite. It doesn't matter if you douse it in lighter fluid or you do the hard work of preparing it with just a flint and a steel. The universal thing is that you have to feed it in order to keep them going. And it seems like a never ending task to be feeding a fire with fresh pieces of wood to get it going. And, and, and the more it seems you build it up, the more it requires in order to keep it going. And today we're going to look at a connection to our life in this idea of feeding fires, because we see this in Proverbs chapter 26, starting in verse 20, it says this. It says, without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, a coral goes down. As charcoal to embers and as wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome person for kindling strife. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down in the innermost parts. See, this isn't the first time in Scripture that our words and speech are compared to fire. In James chapter 3, we're told that our tongue is a fire that can destroy things and set wildfires all around us. And I think this is a warning that we could pay more attention to. Gossip is such a destructive and painful thing, and the reminder that we have here is that by not feeding it, it goes away. So let me remind you today, and maybe just rather encourage you today, that the next time someone shares gossip with you or invites you into a moment of gossip to talk about someone, to discuss information that may or may not be true or, or to talk critically about them behind their back, let me encourage you to follow the instruction of Scripture here and to simply not feed that gossip or that argument or that moment. Because if you choose not to participate, the fire, the flames, the, the life of that argument or of that moment of gossip simply dwindles and goes away. So today, Choose not to feed those destructive or critical conversations because how we talk about people matters. Let's use our speech to build up and not tear down. Let's use our speech to bless and curse those around us, even if they're not present for the conversations. Hope this is an encouragement to you and I hope you can put it into practice. We'll see you next time, Calvary.